Happy Tuesday to you. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresca. Coverage will increase as we get into the afternoon as far as rain and thunderstorms. Some of these slower moving storms could produce a quick one, two, even three inches of rain that could potentially lead to some street flooding all of southeast Texas uh, in the threat zone for seeing some of these higher rainfall totals. But when you look at our rain cast, you can see those spots where you pick up one, two, even three inches of rain and there could be those isolated spots of over four inches. So the rain breakdown, your hour by hour forecast, the coverage increases by lunchtime, really peaking between two, three o'clock in the afternoon, still pretty high at six o'clock. So the afternoon and evening commute could be a little bit messy, could be rough for some of you. So if you've got those evening plans, be prepared to build in some extra time. Then we move forward. Once the sun goes down, we lose the fuel for these thunderstorms to develop. And so those rain chances should be dropping as those temperatures drop back into the upper 70s. So here's what it could look like uh, when we get into the afternoon hours with the radar. We could be dealing with a lot of that activity from the coastline pushing inland. So those of you along the I-10 corridor, especially to our northern counties, could get really active this afternoon. And then a lot of those storms start to dry out once the sun sets. By Wednesday morning, there could be some quick moving rain showers, maybe even a few claps of thunder, but it does look like the majority of that moisture that's been with us the last 24 hours will get shoved out of here and we'll see some lower rain chances between Wednesday through Friday, and that's going to build temperatures right back up again. As we get toward the latter half of the week, we're talking Friday now, we're looking ahead to another front that will be sliding into the northern parts of our state and it does look like this front could stall out across the area. One particular computer model is showing some of the highest rainfall totals where the front stalls, or at least where the moisture pools out ahead of that front. That front is not going to be swinging through our area. It should stay well up to the north. So with that, a lot of that deeper tropical moisture is going to gather. Again, this is one computer model. This particular computer model is showing most areas could pick up between two to four inches of rain but don't be surprised over the next seven days we pick up more than six inches so in addition to what we've already seen we could be dealing with more days ahead especially through the weekend into early next week where those rainfall totals are really going to start stacking up so by Saturday and Sunday you're going to have to monitor the radar I know many of you are already making those outdoor plans for 4th of July unfortunately with those plans you'll also need to plan the alternative what if you can't have that afternoon barbecue or it's too wet or it's still raining for those fireworks festivities I've got a great idea for you you can watch uh, the coverage that we have on ABC 13 and then that'll save you from heading outdoors all right that's a look at your forecast thanks for watching